Hello everyone, this is Pejman Rusty and in uh, this uh, series of uh, video I wanted to explain to you how we can fine tune an LLM. So LLM stands for the la large language model. So everyone know it today as um, um, as ChatGPT, which is very well known, but it's not the, the only one. We have lots of them, and also there is a possibility that we customize them or scientific term of that it's fine-tune them fine-tune them for our activity the first question when we have this uh, and we are maybe in this area is that okay there are several large language models so which one it's better for me okay or how can I compare them together to to choose one of them so one of the way to analyze and compare them is what we have in the, the website of uh, artificial analysis that give us a possibility to do the analysis for uh, or uh, all the available, not all the available, but the majority of the available models that, that are exist. So if I wanted to, to show this uh, to you, so I can uh, here, I can bring page of the analytic models. So in this, you can see uh, several models that are compared based on different criteria. For example, here we have uh, quality, speed, and prices. And here we see the different models uh, proposed by different, uh, different, different company. So GPT 4.0, this is the newest version of the, um, the, the newest version model uh, that's proposed by OpenAI. Okay. As well as GPT 4 Turbo that was before that. So you see that these two models, they, fr from the quality point of view, so they are at the beginning and then it's go for the uh, another model that proposed by the uh, by the cloud so it's called cl cloud 3 which is quite good that to to use it almost the same level of the of the, the chat, uh, of the gpt 40 uh, but from the quality it's equivalent to the gp GPT, uh, GPT for uh, Turbo. So we can see from uh, other criteria that are, are compared, but here are the, are the list. Uh, Crudera, then uh, uh, Gemini of, the, of, uh, of Google, uh, Gemini 1.45 Pro, not the free version, the Pro version. Uh, Lama, that is proposed by uh, Lama 3, that's proposed by, by Meta, uh, the Facebook. And Gemini 1.5 uh, Flash, uh, uh, Mistral, and, and, and so on. Uh, Mistral, sorry. Mistral and, uh, and other, uh, other, other models, so from the quality. From the speed point of view, you see that Gemini, it's more, much more faster than, than others. Then it will go to the uh, Lama, Lama 3. And here we have a GPT-4 or... Oh, it's at the at the fifth level. For example, in this scenario, if you are looking for a model that's faster than other, so when we are saying faster, it's uh, the, the criteria to 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 define this is an output token per second. So how many token per second it can generate? So this is how what we call it the speed. So if you are more looking for the model that it's quite fast, you can go for Gemini. Then or or uh, Lama, but if you are looking for a model that are more, this is more precise. So GPT 4O and so on, they are, are more uh, more uh, accurate. Okay, from from this, and also based on the price of them, when we are using the um, the API of these uh, these models. Uh, what, uh, what we are talking about here is on the general way, okay? So we are not still in the customize them uh, 
or, or fine tuning them okay so for example if you use the api of the of the models so you will see that uh, the the cloud tree is the most expensive one and then we'll go for the gpt4 turbo and the gpt4 o so these are the price and when we come to the open source model like uh, llama tree so they are much uh, much lower so you can find uh, lots of information this uh, i don't uh, spend lots of time on that you can go by yourself look at different criteria uh, that uh, they do the, the comparison even you can uh, click on them and see what uh, what are the uh, other other comparative uh, that they they do for example if you click on this uh, Lama tree instruct uh, with 8 billion uh, parameter so you will see that they have the output speed so they explain about this and they they have lots of uh, parameters that they they compared with others and and you can see and based on what you will see here you can uh, so this is the api provider for the the llama and because as you know llama is the open source but you can uh, find you need or you can provide it with the api so other people can can use it as well okay so these are the uh, the com different comparison that we can have for the model okay but apart from that so if i back to my uh, my my slides so Assuming that you use the the model that you want and you wanted to go for uh, fine tune them, okay? So this is what we wanted to do in this series of uh, of uh, of video. So we see together in different videos. So in the first one, this is this one. Uh, we talk about how we can create a custom version of uh, ChatGPT, okay? So this is the one that uh, we should pay for that and it's the monthly payment because you should have the premium uh, plan of that so either individual or team works and then you use this you, you create this and you can use it either as a private um, uh, chat or as a public when you can share it with other and so on okay so this is as as uh, we can say the monthly uh, monthly financial cost. Another um, approach that we go so it will be on the second video uh, is to how to fine tune an uh, an LLM model uh, that I customize it on my data. But this is scenarios that I don't want to do the coding or I don't know how to, to do the coding or I don't want to involve in the coding and programming and so on. So with the zero code. Okay. So there are some platforms. Uh, I will show them, show you how you can use it. So they give us the, the computational uh, machines or virtual, uh, virtual machines and also the platform that you upload your data, you train your model and you have your model and then you can, you can use it in the, in in, uh, in another way so and the third uh, approach that we we go in the in the third video so we will show you how we can uh, do fine tuning of the of a model based on the on, on python so you write the code you use the model especially open source uh, model and you will fine tune it on your own data okay so in that case so we need a leader programming knowledge okay but in this case so in this video so i should provide you with the code so you don't need to to really write it from scratch also you can find other type of the codes on the on the internet it's easily there are several uh, github repositories that provide the code python code uh, for fine-tuning the, the the model okay uh, this is what we we do in these uh, three 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 videos, okay? But let's go further, okay? Before going and make our hand dirty and start to to make our first uh, GPT, our our first uh, LLM model, sorry, uh, we have a problem. This is the general problem for all the LLM models, okay? So LLM models are computationally expensive. What does it mean? It means that they have lots of parameters. So 
fine tuning these parameters or running them on the on the machines so we need really big 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 machines that usually is out of the budget of the uh, ordinary com companies or research labs and so on usually big uh, companies they they have money to do for uh, to do this okay uh, and that's a problem and it make it complicated to to fine tune them so what we can do so now i will talk about some of the you can say that methods or models that we use when we wanted to fine tune our model uh, to to reduce this computational cost and allow us to fine tune a model and create our own llm llm model so the first model uh, the first uh, method that we, we we have here it's called uh, lora low rank adaptation this is the method that proposed in uh, 20, 2021 this is the the paper for reference if you wanted to, to look at that and in that this method introduced a low rank matrices to modify pre-trained weight uh, pre-trained weight uh, efficiently so how does it work during the training we have the the pre-trained weights so it doesn't matter which model are you you are, you are using you are using the gpt you are using llama uh, gemini or any other model okay you have the weights this is a simple concept okay and this weight in a in this scenario when you are using lora or when we are using fine tuning with lora it's fixed okay we don't uh, touch it but instead we add something else to it okay so we add uh, two uh, two two other matrices low rank matrices okay here is, is an example of that so we have the this is the image uh, this is the, the, the image uh, taken directly from the from this the paper original paper okay and what we have we have the w the weight okay the initial weight of the pre-trained uh, pre-trained model and then uh, we add it to two other uh, low rank matrices here what what we have we have the h is equal to the, the w zero times x this is the or, or input that has the dimension of d uh, plus delta w x the weight of uh, weight of x where we can uh, we can replace uh, delta w x as the b times a so two, two matrices that we have times uh, time times x so b is a low rank matri uh, low ranks matrix that we uh, that we have for our power of d times r and a is another uh, low rank matrix that we we have here so that is the the r uh, power of r points uh, r times uh, k where we define the small r as much smaller than minimum of the dk the dimension that we have here and then for 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 for, for k okay this is what we do uh, during the the training so we do add these two and we we have uh, we have we have h for uh inference or say during inference so what we we have so we have the weight that is the uh that is the the case that we have the the w0 initial uh, initial weight plus uh b times a the two matrices that we draw line matrices that we we have here so this is the concept that give us the possibility to uh, fine tune the model and uh, reduce the the computational cost when we are running on the on, on, on our system okay apart from that or additional to, to that we have another one that is called QLORA okay in the QLORA so from the name it's obvious that it's a part of that is LORA okay low rank ad adaptation but here this is the the work that uh, proposing uh, into to uh, uh, this year 2024 and in that so what we do it's we have the concept of LORA okay that is mostly in this this part but here instead of using the whole um 
weight, uh, pre, uh, pre-trained weight or initial weight. So we have the quantization of that. Okay, so when we uh, we do the quanti- uh, quantize the version of the of, of the weight. Okay, if we do this, it allows us uh, to for for efficient fine tuning on the lower bit precision hardware without big performance loss. So of course, when we do the quantization, we have a li- little of the of the loss of the of the performance, but it's not that much. So. Another uh, term that we use a lot in these uh, tutorials, and you will see that uh, you will see them, it's mixed precision training. Okay, mixed precision training is the the methods that um, that propose. So it's the uh, the the reference of that. So when we come to the FP FP eight IM uh, that provided by the the research lab in uh, in Microsoft. In 2023, but in fact, the mixed precision training. So it's not the new one, but we we have this concept uh, several years ago. Some uh, with the publication in 2016, 2017 about that. So, but what the, does it talk about? So it's use the lower precision to to speed up training and reduce memory usage. So in that uh, case, so we have the precision type of usually FP16. So this is 16 bit floating point representation and BF16, this is the brain uh, floating points, uh, which quite similar to the FP16, but with more uh, more range that we, we can we can use. And with using of this technique, uh, mixed precision, uh, precision uh, training, we can improve computational efficiency and allow us uh, allow for, for training larger model on the limited hardware. Okay, these are the most famous technique that we always use when we wanted to go and fine tune a, a, a model. As the last notation that you will see also in the in our in our video when we wanted to do the fine tuning, the term we call it SFT, so supervised fine tuning. Okay, so it's not technique it's in general uh, the method that we use for uh, fine tuning or supervised fine tuning. Okay. It is the process of when we involve uh, the training uh, the model on on labels. So the, the general concept when we have the the theta uh, uh, that is the the last function and theta are the the model parameters and we have the x i the input samples and the y i as a as a, as a corresponding la- label. So like the other supervised method that we 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 are using. But here, as the we, we use it this term as the supervised fine tuning, okay. And with that, we wanted to to improve computational efficiency and allow for for training large model on limited uh, hardware. By these uh, small uh, notations, so we go further, and we start to uh, to create or customized model in uh, in a new video.